What's striking is that warming trend cannot be explained by natural factors, but is caused by human activities. In particular, by use of fossil fuels. The problem is that everything we do, our entire economy, from the moment you wake up in the morning and turn on the light or look at your cell phone to the moment you go to bed at night, and even then because your cell phone is still drawing power at night, I mean, we're all using energy all the time, and in the industrialized world, that energy is almost entirely fossil fuels. We burn fossil fuels, coal, gas, and oil, to power our energy generation, to heat our homes, to drive our factories, to power our cars and our trains, and travel around the world. And when we burn fossil fuels, it produces carbon dioxide as a waste product. Carbon dioxide acts like a blanket. It absorbs the heat radiation from the Earth's surface, and that that keeps the surface warmer than it would be otherwise. The problem is what we're doing now is we're adding extra carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases, so we're increasing the thickness of this blanket. Before we started to burn coal, the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere was about 280 parts per million. It's now over 400 parts per million. It wouldn't be such a problem if carbon dioxide had a small life. But the fact is, carbon dioxide lives for over 100 years. And the planet gets warmer and warmer. There is now so much carbon dioxide in our atmosphere that our world is around one degree Celsius hotter than it was in pre-industrial times. This warming is enough to bring about the raft of effects we call climate change. One degree Celsius global warming may not sound like much, but it's having a dramatic effect on our weather. You warm up the planet, well, of course, you're going to get more intense and more frequent heat waves. You're going to dry out the soils, so you're going to get worse drought. We're seeing extreme heat in Southern Africa, Japan, North America, in the UK as well. It is officially the hottest day of the year so far. The heat has been causing health problems. The Often the question is, did climate change cause a certain event? And you can never really answer that question, but what scientists do is to look at whether climate change made a certain event more or less likely or more or less intense. In the UK in 2018, we had a heat wave that was actually the joint warmest on record alongside 1976. And we've been analyzing this here at the Met Office. What that showed us was that the chances of that heat wave had increased by about 30 times. So it's now about 30 times more likely that we had that heat wave than we would have had without climate change. Today, the mercury hit a scorching 35 degrees Celsius. Temperatures so it doesn't mean to say that every single weather event is due to climate change. But what climate change does mean is that with the baseline climate having changed, then the frequency of the extreme temperatures is increasing and that has a substantial effect. In November 2018, when temperatures in Cairns, Australia, hit 42 degrees, even creatures specifically adapted to heat were unable to survive. And just everywhere. When we got here in the morning, that's the first time really we saw it. There were just dead bats. As far as the eye could see, there was a deafening sound of babies crying. And you just don't know where to start. So we just started finding babies, basically. Oh, Baba. We have a little baby attached to its dead mum. Like all species, flying foxes have ways of dealing with the conditions of their environment. But it seems their usual cooling methods are no longer enough 
for the kind of temperatures Australia is now facing. We saved about 350. The rest are dead, so over, over 11,000 died in that colony. And if you have two more events like we had, the species is gone. wake up. Flying foxes, they're often referred to as the gardeners of the rainforest. We have a number of trees that are nocturnal flowering, so you need a nocturnal pollinator to be able to actually do that job. So they're of vital importance to the ecosystem. In addition to the many other threats they face, Animals of all kinds are now struggling to adapt to rapidly changing conditions. Think of the equator. As climate change occurs, that kind of central part of the world becomes increasingly uninhabitable. If climate change is too fast, we're pushing them off the planet, in effect we're causing extinction of species already. And that's irreversible. Some scientists believe around 8% of species could be at threat of extinction solely due to climate change. This isn't just about losing wonders of nature. The loss of even the smallest organisms destabilizes the world's ecosystems, the networks that support the whole of life on Earth.